Hey there, this is Vicki coming to you from Upper Room Ministries. I know it's been a while. You know, it's been a minute, as they say. But just a lot is going on in my family. And But what I'd like to do is to, it's really important on your daily dose of spiritual oxygen that you know that even though you're doing things that might take you away from something, it still doesn't give you the permission, if you will, to not follow where Jesus is taking you. And here's something that Jesus laid on my heart. You remember my last recording was about having a flat and the different things with that. Well, there are about four different miracles, I think, that occurred with that, that I was remiss in sharing because I have to give the testimony. Amen. Okay. So here's the testimony. So remember I had a flat. Okay. So think about this. I'm in a five lane uh, road going underneath the overpass um, to get on the highway. Okay, all of a sudden my lane gets a green light. Like it's ready to turn and start to go up on the access roads onto the overpass. Just as that light turned green, I had a caution light on my dash which said I had zero tire pressure, tire pressure in my tires like you're kidding uh, at the red light I ran around looked I'm completely flat completely flat like there's no way I can go for any length of time and I'm like oh my gosh what do I do so the light turned green and for some reason let's just call it God the divine choreographer my lane didn't go it just didn't go. It didn't allow me to have the pressure to move forward, turn left, and get onto the highway. It just didn't go. Now, the lane by me, on the right-hand side, it did go. Can you imagine? That's crazy good. So, God had that traffic stop, I'm sure of it, so that I would not be in uh, harm's way. Miracle number one. Miracle number two. Now, what I needed to do is figure out what to do next. The what to do next was, okay, I can't get on that access road. I'm going to have to get on this access road that's in front of me. But I'm in the turn lane. I'm in lane number five, the innermost lane. God stops traffic on all four lanes. Not kidding you. There are no cars whatsoever. I was able to put on my blinker cross four lanes where there's typically heavy traffic. I mean, there always is. It's a road called Woodman and it's always packed. Miracle number two. Miracle number three. I try to figure out where to go for a drive of safety. I find it at the next red light and I turn right and I find an empty parking lot. I get out of the car. I was riding on the rim, I want you to know. Absolutely no damage. Then, miracle number three. Miracle number four. The man who came to help me had lupus. Oh yeah, you know what's going to happen next, right? All right, he had lupus and I was chit-chatting with him and he was all tatted up, tattoos all over the place. He had this dog that was looking out of its ca his car. His, it looked like his entire life was packed in his car, including pulling a motorcycle um, with a whole bunch of stuff in there. That is miracle number four. I prayed for the man and uh, he said he was in pain constantly. He was diagnosed with lupus and I prayed for him. Now, while he did not tell me his pain subsided. He was very, uh, very, uh, very, very broken a man, I could tell. So he wasn't ready for that kind of conversation, but what I did was I prayed in faith. Remember Hebrews 11.1 1 says, faith is the, uh, is the realization of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. So I just told the Lord, I prayed to the Lord, send your word forth that doesn't come back void to accomplishing tasks which you've sent it in faith. I just trust that process. Miracle number four. Wow. Crazy good. 
And I just have to tell you of another miracle. A friend of mine uh, wanted to treat me after Holy Mass to go to um, get a little uh, snack. I typically would have said no, but I was being prompted to go ahead and say yes. So I went ahead and said yes. We went there and I saw this group of Korean ladies and they were all chit-chatting. And I just stopped to say, you guys are so beautiful. They're all very dressed up. They look gorgeous. And I said, your face is uh, skin is perfect and then uh, one good though says oh you're beautiful I love your dimples and she said I think um, you're beautiful because of your heart that's just not a typical everyday conversation one thing led to another I said well thank you I said um, one of the things I do actually is um, express my heart I go around and I talk to people all over and pray for their healing are any of you in pain and um, a couple of them I could tell were simply uncomfortable. I don't have to worry about that unless the Lord tells me to worry about that. Amen. So I just press on. Min Jung uh, said, I am. My wrist. It hurts really bad. So I ended up praying for her. She was at a three and she went to a zero. Praise God. At Paneras, another healing. God, you're so faithful. I love you so much. And I'm so humbled and privileged that you could just use a tiny little speck like me to be your hands and feet. I just say more, Lord. And whoever is watching, this testimony is supposed to do something for you. You're supposed to receive healing in some way. So I just pray that healing in the name of Jesus and that you receive that beautiful touch of Christ in your life. All right, this has been Vicki from Your Daily Dose of Spiritual Oxygen. I pray that this blesses you. Um, leave a comment below. Press like, subscribe, hit the little bell notification button that says I've made another recording. I sure appreciate your feedback. When you guys give me comments, I can't tell you how edifying it is for me. Ooh, there's that spiritual oxygen. I pray you got to receive some spiritual oxygen today. I'm going to try to get better at putting those links down below uh, for you to be able to look at my website, my YouTube channels, um, just to uh, connect and get edified on what Christ can do in your life. You take care and God bless.